a sad goodbye Tom's Cottage. It's been a terrifically pleasant evening and morning. Tom's incredible. I've, I've met so many people here and I was just here for one night. That hasn't happened anywhere else. I'm sad to be going actually. But I'm excited because today I get to go through uh, Glen, Glenlock, as it is pronounced, as I learned from Tom. It's gonna be turn awesome. Left, see where I'm take going. a sharp right turn onto N24. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I thought this looked like as nice a place as any to pull over and do my setting foot in the county of Wexford bit. Very, very wet today. All right, I'm getting back in the car. Well, it would appear that due to the conditions, this is the camera I will be using. I just need to figure out how to get to the walking paths I'm on the road. The, uh, the ghost town abandoned miners village is up this way. Well, I'm thinking this might be my best one. Oh, that's so slippery. Yeah, that worked out alright. See if I just waited another hundred feet. Because if this is how busy it is when the weather's like this, I bet yesterday, tomorrow, Crazy. Be unequivocal right now. A rainy, temperate forest in the mountains with a lake is my favorite. I want to live in a place like this forever. I want a little house, a kayak, and to grow old in a place like this. This is so me. It's windy here a lot. Just the nature of the landscape. Anyway. In the 1800s, these mountains were being mined for uh, lead, I think it was. The miners lived here. 1800s ghost town. Can't see a bloody thing without my glasses, but uh, I can sort of tell there's buildings there. They're just going to get soaking wet, but I need to see this, so I'm going to put on my glasses. There's not much left of this. Well, I'm past the village, and it looks like there's a hiking trail that goes up and over that waterfall. I'm I'm already here, aren't I? This should be fun. Anybody know where I am? This is my life, my friends. Doesn't get any better. At least the weather's finally got balls to start really raining. <laughs> Alright, I'm calling it. Back in town. So here's a new one. I just ate my food, right? There are three trash cans in the restaurant. Six of them over there, eight right there, six there, and none of them except the kind of trash that I have. They're all recycled. This one's plastic, this one's cardboard, this one's compost. Nothing for just trash. So, in Glendalock, back in my car, on my way into Dublin, and my phone has totally kaputzed. Don't know for sure why, it might have to do with the rain. I have no GPS, so I will be finding my way from Glendalough, hopefully through the old military road up through the hills, totally with my own sense of direction. Let's see how that goes, hey? All I want is a place to leave my car overnight, and I'm driving in circles through the insanely busy bicycle and pedestrian ridden streets of the capital city of Ireland. Now, I'll admit I didn't make it to the center of Marrakesh, but, but this is worse than any of the driving I did in Morocco. And I'm sure I'm getting further and further away from my hostel as time goes by, because I was actually really close to it briefly, and now I don't even know what direction I'm going, and there's a lot of multi-stories that happily take it, but I have to give them like 35 euros. I don't have 35 euros to spend on a parking spot for one night. But this is the uh, fourth place I've parked in Dublin so far. See how it works.